Hello, Peanut Peeps. It's Peanut Chew at Peanut Chew Adventures. Got my buddy right up there, Red-Tailed Hawk. He flew in a few minutes ago. He looked at me and he landed right there. And he said, I need some airtime. So he's gonna be in the video. But today, the video is about ospreys. And it's about ospreys around their nests and all the activities they're doing. What I'm doing here is I'm using the 800.56, 600 f4, and 500 pf. I'm getting footage of each so you can compare. I have one small clip of the red-tailed hawk with the 100 to 400 lens, but on my next video, the whole video is using the 100 to 400, so you can come check out the quality of the pictures and video footage on the next video. The other day when I was out. Someone came up to me and said, are you Peanut Chew? And I said, yeah, but I didn't recognize him. And he said, I saw you on your YouTube channel. That made me feel great. That was the first person that just came up to me out of the blue. And I loved it. And I want to give a shout out to Ken, really nice guy. If you could, please hit like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And how it helps me out is when I see the subscribers are going up, at least I know People are watching and people are getting some entertainment and maybe they're learning something. That makes me feel good. It actually ups my game. It makes me go out and try to get the best quality video, best quality pictures that I can and bring the best I can to the videos. So thank you for watching. The male usually fetches most of the nesting material sometimes breaking dead sticks off of nearby trees as he flies past, or sticks that are on the ground, and the female arranges it in the nest. This guy is really going to impress her by bringing this large stick home. Ospreys require nest sites and open surroundings for easy approach, with a wide, sturdy base and safety from ground predators. But things don't turn out as planned, since this piece of wood is about to fall off and Mrs. Osprey does not seem impressed at all. But this Seahawk is quick thinking and does not want to look bad in front of his mate. And maybe he has a trick up his sleeve. I'm gonna fix this. Yes, I got it. Oh no. Maybe I should not go home for a little while. While young are on the nest, the male catches fish, eats the head, and brings the rest back to the female and young. But I notice they start to practice before the young arrive. After the exchange of fish, the female will often leave the nest to eat peacefully.
That was a graceful landing. And always, when there's a threat to the nest, or when someone gets on the osprey's nerves, they will get bombarded until they leave. This is not the time to fight back. It's time to duck. Those talons are sharp. Here, I'm using the 500 PF. This is an awesome, super lightweight lens that offers high quality sharpness and the autofocus is very fast. This lens is especially useful when you need to get quickly low to the ground in places where heavier glass is more awkward. If you are in the market for a wildlife lens at this price point, another great option is the new 100 to 400 lens made for the mirrorless cameras. It also has superior sharpness and autofocus. The 500 PF is $3,600 and the 100 to 400 is $2,700. And I'll have a video coming soon using the new 100 to 400. And you can see the 500 PF fares well against the heavier and more expensive 600 and 800 millimeter lenses. Ospreys are believed to be monogamous and are strongly faithful both to the nest and to the mate. When an invading osprey comes to the nest, the pair will fight them off. Ospreys build large nests on top of trees, telephone poles, or human-made nesting platforms near wetlands like the one I'm filming. Besides having sticks, reeds, and grasses, Plastic bags or other garbage may be used on the nest. Once they successfully lay and raise eggs in their nest, ospreys will return to it year after year, adding additional sticks each time. But if an osprey pair fails to raise chicks for some reason, they'll build a new nest nearby. I hope you liked the video and I want to say thank you. From me and my friend back there, see you next time on Peanut Chew Adventures.